Deep beneath the arid plains of Iran flows a network of ancient waterways. These are the Khanats, a testament to Persian ingenuity. For millennia, these underground aqueducts have turned barren landscapes into fertile oases. Imagine a land where rainfall is scarce and rivers are few and far between. The ancient Persians, faced with this challenge, devised a system to tap into hidden aquifers. These underground channels, gently sloping over miles, carried water from the mountains to the plains using gravity. The Khanats became the lifeblood of Persian civilization, enabling the growth of cities and agriculture. The construction of a Khanat required advanced understanding of hydrology, geology, and engineering. It began with identifying a suitable water source, usually an aquifer at the foothills of a mountain range. A team of skilled laborers, known as Mukanis, would dig a series of vertical shafts connected by a gently sloping tunnel. These shafts provided ventilation, access during construction, and later maintenance. The tunnel was carefully sloped to ensure a continuous flow of water driven by gravity. Some canats extended hundreds of feet below the surface, with the longest recorded stretching over 70 kilometers. The construction of a single canat could take months or even years, involving hundreds of skilled workers. This ancient engineering marvel was a testament to the scale and ambition of the Persians. The origins of the Kanat system are shrouded in time. Some historians believe it emerged from simpler water harvesting techniques practiced by early Persian communities. Picture small settlements experimenting with ways to tap into underground springs. Over generations, these early Persians honed their skills, learning to identify signs of underground water sources. The first Kanats may have been simple tunnels, directing water to nearby crops. As communities grew, the need for more sophisticated methods led to the development of the complex Kanat systems. To understand the genesis of the Kanat system, we must delve into the worldview of the ancient Persians. Water was sacred, the lifeblood of their civilization, a gift from the gods. This reverence for water permeated every aspect of Persian society. The Persians believed it was their duty to protect and preserve this precious resource. The Kanat system, with its emphasis on sustainability, reflected this profound respect for the natural world. The development of the Kanat system was not merely an engineering feat, it was a cultural imperative. It was a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the Persian people. The true ingenuity of the Kanat system lay in its elegant solution to evaporation and contamination. In the scorching heat, open canals would quickly lose water to the sun. The Persians transported water underground, minimizing exposure to sunlight and wind. This method allowed them to move water over vast distances with minimal losses. The Kanat system also protected water from contamination by transporting it underground. This ensured a reliable supply of clean, potable water for their communities. This focus on water purity reflected the Persians' deep respect for water as a sacred element. The construction of a kanat was entrusted to skilled artisans known as mukanis. These master builders possessed an intimate knowledge of the land and the art of subterranean construction. Their tools were simple, yet they achieved remarkable feats of engineering. The construction began with a careful survey of the terrain to identify a suitable water source. The slope of the tunnel had to be carefully calculated to ensure a steady flow of water. The Makanis, through generations of knowledge, designed and constructed canats that functioned flawlessly for centuries. The defining feature of the Kanat system was its network of vertical shafts. These shafts provided access points for the Mukanis during construction. 
They also served as ventilation points, allowing fresh air to circulate through the tunnel. The spacing of the shafts was carefully calculated, taking into account various factors. Typically, shafts were spaced 50 to 200 meters apart. These shafts became a testament to the hidden network of water channels that sustained life in Persia. The longevity of the Kanat system was due to diligent maintenance. The Persians invested significant effort in keeping their Kanats operational. Maintaining a Kanat was a communal responsibility overseen by a Mirab. The Mirab monitored the water level, inspected the shafts and tunnels, and organized maintenance work. One key challenge was the accumulation of sediment, which could restrict water flow. Teams of workers would enter the tunnel to remove sediment, ensuring the continued flow of water. The Kanat system was the foundation of Persian civilization. It transformed arid plains into fertile fields, supporting a thriving agricultural economy. Cities flourished along the roots of these subterranean aqueducts. The reliable supply of water enabled the growth of urban centers and trade. The Kanat system became the lifeblood of their civilization. Water rights were carefully allocated, ensuring equitable distribution among communities. The Kanat system created oases of abundance in arid plains. These verdant pockets supported a diverse range of crops. The Persians developed techniques to maximize irrigation efficiency. They constructed networks of canals to distribute water from the Kanat outlets. The abundance of agricultural produce fueled the growth of Persian cities and trade. The legacy of the Kanat system shaped Persian society. It fostered cooperation and interdependence among communities. The Kanat system became deeply ingrained in the Persian worldview. The Persians developed a profound respect for water reflected in their art and literature. These ancient waterways continue to provide a vital source of water today. The Persian Kanat system spread beyond Persia. The Persians introduced the Kanat system to newly conquered regions. This expansion was driven by the system's value in arid environments. The Kanat system was adopted and adapted to local conditions in various regions. Skilled Persian engineers and laborers played a crucial role in disseminating this technology. The Kanat system adapted to different landscapes and climates. In Egypt, it was modified to tap into the water table adjacent to the Nile River. In North Africa, Kanats were dug deeper to reach remote oases. The Persians' willingness to adapt the Kanat system highlights their engineering ingenuity. This adaptability ensured the survival and continued relevance of the Kanat system. The influence of the Persian Kanat system can still be seen today, centuries after its inception, showcasing the enduring legacy of this ancient engineering marvel. In many parts of the world, particularly in arid and semi-arid regions, Kanats continue to provide a vital source of water for irrigation and domestic use, ensuring the survival of communities in harsh environments. These ancient waterways, often still maintained using traditional methods passed down through generations, stand as a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of this ancient technology. The knowledge and skills required to maintain these systems are a precious heritage. The legacy of the Kanat system extends beyond its practical applications, influencing the very fabric of the societies that rely on it. It has left an indelible mark on the cultural landscape of the regions it touched, shaping agricultural practices, settlement patterns, and even religious beliefs. The Kanat system has become a cornerstone of cultural identity in many areas. In many cultures, the Kanat system is deeply intertwined with local folklore and traditions often seen as a symbol of community resilience, ingenuity, and harmonious coexistence with nature. Stories and songs about Kanats are passed down through generations, keeping the spirit of this ancient system alive.
The Kanat system also serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness of human civilizations, illustrating how ancient innovations can transcend borders and time. Its spread across continents highlights the power of innovation and the importance of cultural exchange in disseminating knowledge and technology. The Kanat system is a prime example of how human ingenuity can adapt to and overcome environmental challenges. The Kanat system, though originating in ancient Persia, has transcended its geographical origins to become a shared heritage of humanity, a symbol of our collective ingenuity in the face of environmental challenges. It stands as a testament to the enduring human spirit and our ability to innovate for survival and prosperity. As we stand in the 21st century, an era defined by rapid technological advancements and ambitious mega-projects, it's easy to overlook the quiet resilience and enduring relevance of ancient technologies like the Kanat. Yet across the arid and semi-arid regions of the world, from Iran to Morocco, from Oman to Chile, these ancient water systems continue to function, providing life-sustaining water to communities much as they did millennia ago. The ingenuity of these systems lies in their simplicity and effectiveness. The murmur of water flowing through these subterranean channels speaks not just of the past, but also of the present, and importantly, of the future. While some Kanats have succumbed to neglect, climate change, and the pressures of modern development, many are experiencing a revival. And the pressures of modern development, many are experiencing a revival. Governments, recognizing their ecological and cultural value, are investing in their restoration and preservation. Governments, recognizing their ecological and cultural value, are investing in their restoration and preservation. Communities, drawing upon the wisdom of their ancestors, are rediscovering the benefits of this sustainable water management system. Communities, drawing upon the wisdom of their ancestors, are rediscovering the benefits of this sustainable water management system. The Kanat, once viewed as a relic of the past, is being reimagined for the 21st century. The Kanat, once viewed as a relic of the past, is being reimagined for the 21st century. Modern technologies are being employed to map, monitor, and maintain these ancient systems with greater precision. And maintain these ancient systems with greater precision. Solar-powered pumps are being integrated into some canets to enhance their efficiency. Solar-powered pumps are being integrated into some canets to enhance their efficiency and adapt to changing water tables. And adapt to changing water tables. Researchers and engineers are studying the principles of the canet system for inspiration. Researchers and engineers are studying the principles of the canet system for inspiration in developing sustainable water management solutions for a future grappling with climate change and increasing water scarcity. In developing sustainable water management solutions for a future grappling with climate change and increasing water scarcity. The Kanat stands as a testament to human ingenuity and resilience, bridging the past and the future in our quest for sustainable living. The story of the Kanat is ultimately a story of human ingenuity, resilience, and our enduring connection to the natural world. It is a narrative that spans centuries, showcasing the brilliance of ancient civilizations and their ability to thrive in the harshest of environments. It's a testament to the power of observation, innovation, and collaboration, qualities that transcend time and circumstance. The Kanat system exemplifies how human creativity can solve complex problems through simple yet effective solutions. The ancient Persians, faced with the challenge of survival in an arid land, didn't just adapt to their environment, they shaped it, harnessing the hidden forces of nature to create a flourishing civilization. Their ingenuity turned barren deserts into fertile lands, supporting communities and fostering growth. The Kanat system, with its emphasis on gravity-driven flow, minimal environmental impact, and community-based management, stands as a marvel of engineering. It is a system that has endured the test of time, continuing to provide water to regions that would otherwise remain dry. 
offers valuable lessons for our modern world. In today's age of technological advancements, the simplicity and effectiveness of the Kanat remind us that sometimes the best solutions are those that work in harmony with nature. In an era grappling with the consequences of unsustainable water practices and the looming threat of climate change, the Kanat stands as a beacon of sustainability, a model for harmonious coexistence between humanity and nature. It teaches us the importance of sustainable resource management and the need to respect our environment. As we look to the future, facing unprecedented environmental challenges, we must draw inspiration from the past. The Kanat system is a reminder that ancient wisdom can guide us towards a more sustainable and balanced way of living. The Kanat reminds us that the wisdom of the past can often hold the keys to a sustainable future. By studying and understanding these ancient systems, modern engineers and environmentalists can develop innovative solutions that are both effective and sustainable. It inspires us to look beyond quick fixes and embrace solutions that work in concert with nature, ensuring that our actions today do not compromise the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Ensuring a future where water, the essence of life, continues to flow for generations to come. The Kanat system, with its timeless design and enduring functionality, serves as a powerful symbol of hope and resilience. The Kanat, a whisper from the past, carries a message of hope and resilience for our planet's future. It encourages us to learn from history and to build a future that honors the delicate balance between human needs and the natural world. 